Our subject today is hemoptysis in pediatrics. Hemoptysis, the expectoration of blood from the lower respiratory tract, is typically foamy, bright red mixed with sputum and has an alkaline pH. Respiratory infections, foreign body aspiration, and bronchiectasis are among the most common causes. It may be associated with coughing and, in some cases, chest pain or sensation of gurgling or warmth. Pulmonary hemorrhage, particularly of slow nature, may occur without hemoptysis. Hemoptysis must be distinguished from a blood from the nasopharynx and the GI tract hematemesis, which is often dark red or brown with an acidic pH. Hematemesis is also more likely to be associated with nausea or abdominal pain than with coughing. Bleeding from epistaxis may result in blood that is swallowed and coughed out. The history should be contain inquiries about associated respiratory symptoms, epistaxis, foreign body aspiration, recent procedure like tonsillectomy, laryngoscopy, and the possibility of bleeding disorder. Children with certain underlying condition are predisposed to pulmonary hemorrhage that in some cases can be severe. Children with cystic fibrosis have the greatest risk of hemoptysis. Other at-risk disorder include cardiac disease, hemoglobinopathy, connective tissue disorder, coagulopathy, and immune deficiency status. Chest X-ray at minimum and specialty consultation should be urgently obtained when children with these conditions present with hemoptysis. How to approach to a child with a hemoptysis after performing history and physical examination? Is there a recent trauma or procedure? If it is yes, this is maybe penetrating chest wall trauma, external chest wall trauma with pulmonary contusion, endotracheal intubation, vigorous section of the endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube, post-operative co-application like bronchoscopy or lung biopsy. If there is no recent trauma, is there coughing illness, minimal hemoptysis, clinically stable? If it is yes, this is viral upper respiratory tract infection like tracheobronchitis or pneumonia. If it is no patient unstable, obtain chest x-ray, CPC, coagulation studies, uh, PFTs, ultrasound, chest x-ray. Either it is abnormal in this case, this is maybe infection, pneumonia, lung abscess, TB, foreign body, congenital malformation like pulmonary sequestration, bronchogenic cyst, bronchiectasis, cystic fibrosis, vascular anomaly, pulmonary renal syndrome, good pasture syndrome, granulomatous polyangitis, Wigner granulomatous, other causes of diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, other immune disorder, pulmonary hypertension, other cardiac disease, Henier syndrome, idiopathic pulmonary hemosidrosis, and pulmonary infarction or tumor. If it is normal chest x-ray, perform CT or bronchoscopy, a drug screen, CO level, ammonia, Differential diagnosis may include foreign body, congenital malformation, pulmonary sequestration, bronchogenic cyst, vascular anomaly, bronchitis, tracheobronchitis, other cases of diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, pulmonary embolus, coagulopathy, pulmonary hypertension, primary, cardiac disease, prematurity, toxic inhalation, CO and O2, crack cocaine, hyperammonemia, intracranial hemorrhage, tuberous sclerosis, factitious, or idiopathic. Recommended investigation, full blood count, low hemoglobin to confirm anemia, leukocytosis in pneumonia, low platelet in thrombocytopenia. Coagulation study with the INR, PT, PTT in cases of coagulopathy. Autoantibody screen may be positive for connective tissue disease, Sputum cytology for suspected TB or tumor. Chest X-ray, the most valuable investigation to find the cause of the hemoptysis. Sweat test for suspected cases of cystic fibrosis. 
bronchoscopy and high resolution CT scan of the lung in unclear cases of hemoptysis. Top tips. Hemoptysis in young children is usually caused by benign conditions such as a vigorous cough. After a careful history and physical examination, chest x-ray should be performed. If the diagnosis is not clear, bronchoscopy and chest CT scan and referral to chest specialist. A child with hemoptysis and high fever is most likely having pneumonia. The low pressure pulmonary system tends to produce a non-profuse hemoptysis while the bronchi, which are at systemic pressure, tend to produce more massive bleeding. Hemoptysis with history of lung disease, a frothy or bright red, absence of nausea and vomiting should be easily differentiated from hematemesis with history of gastric or hepatic disease. Coffee ground or brown to red, presence of nausea and vomiting mixed with food particle. About 5% of patients with cystic fibrosis may develop hemoptysis which may recur. Tuberculosis is increasing disease. The disease should not be forgotten as a cause of hemoptysis. Red flag. When child present with a hemoptysis, look for clubbing of the finger to identify cystic fibrosis. Young children under 5 years swallow their sputum and the minor hemoptysis may not be obvious unless the hemoptysis is massive. Be aware that among obscure causes of hemoptysis is left ventricular heart failure or mitral stenosis causing pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary embolism may cause hemoptysis. Consider this diagnosis if there is evidence of deep vein thrombosis or child is at risk of thrombosis such as sickle cell anemia or homocysteinuria. Factitious hemoptysis is rare but should be considered in the differential diagnosis of unclear case causes of hemoptysis when the medical history or the patient's behavior is unusual. Thank you for your listening.